Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this week's edition of the Coffee Cast where we are joined by a complete stranger, a mysterious person who has not been here in so long. <laughs> How's it going, Megan? <laughs> I have missed you all, let's just say that, like, just miss the grind. I, I've been doing a bunch of other, you know, family business. Were you care. kidnapped to like Area 51 or something? <laughs> like, you know those monoliths that have been appearing everywhere? That was you. I might have something to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's super weird though, right? Yeah. 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 As a matter of fact, I think uh I think they found another one. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. <laughs> yeah. Right up on the steeple of Kamanu Church over there. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh. But the but... tip of Yao. Yeah. How'd they get that up there? <laughs> Aliens, y'all. Aliens. Aliens. Yeah, the thing is, is like before we end up on the History Channel with one of those shows. True. Uh, you have been traveling a lot lately, though, right? Yeah, I had to leave the great state of Hawaii, and let me tell you, it is the great, great place. I don't know about state. <laughs> That's yeah. debatable. But uh, it's a beautiful place, Maui no Ka'oi all the way. Yeah. So, yeah, I had to go up to the Pacific Northwest. People are not happy there. No. They are laka de aloha. Mm, yeah, well, I mean, it... It is the largest logging season ever <laughs> in history for people in Oregon. So even if you're like five years old right now, you're picking up chainsaws. You know. <laughs> yeah. And I, I do have to apologize. I had to put my glasses on because I have this weird thing happening where my eyes are like overly light sensitive. Yeah. Because I'm not sleeping because of the baby. Well, you look really cool with them on. I like those glasses. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, I got these from the Ethel Merman collection. These are pretty good. Well, I mean, besides travel and stuff yeah. like that, it is the holiday season. I noticed it new is. specials on the board. Uh, yeah. Red velvet milkshakes. Whose idea was this and how do I thank them? I'm guessing it was Jackie. <gasps> oh. Yeah. I've, um, I'm super out of the loop. Honestly, this is going to be a really fun co coffee cast. Really? Because I'm going to guess all my answers. You're going to guess all your answers? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about something <laughs> in depth then. Um, how about every single year, the Wailuku Coffee Company, especially around this time of year, starts to donate back to local charities, local people, and local businesses. Yeah. Year round we donate, but this time of the year it, we really go full bore on the fundraising side of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and every December we host a fundraiser for Friends of the Children's Justice Center of Maui. Okay. And that charity is great because they have no red tape to cut through before they help a child. So if they get a child in on December 24th, they're taking care of that child on December 24th. Wow. And they're not having to wait for paperwork to go through this person's desk or that person's desk. They're just immediately able to help them out, you know, and mm. give them some sense of normalcy, you know, give them some safety, give them a gift, give them the things they need. So we, we love this charity and it's always been a very Pono charity. So uh, I think this is, this is like our ninth year in a row of throwing a fundraiser for them. Yeah. And every year I try to one up it, you know. And uh, last year we beat our goal of a thousand. We hit around 1,200, and over 200 toys donated from our community. Um, and this year we'll see if we can beat 1,200 and beat 200 toys. Wow! So both locations are have toy donation bins, mm -hmm. and then there's one right behind us. I don't know if you can see it in the shot. This box right here. Yes. Yeah, oh, you can. You see can. It. Yeah. And uh, there's one also in the Haiku location, and you bring in a new, unwrapped toy. And if you bring it up to the counter before you order, you can get a free uh, coffee, iced coffee, or tea of your choice. And that's our way of thanking you for participating in our toy drive. Mm. And then in Wailuku, we have a really fun art show. that, And we do a super fun art show every single December for fundraising purposes. Yes. And it's, the last couple years we did plants and things, and that was super fun. But then this year we uh, got a whole hooey of people together, and they all created something different. Yeah. And it's, so it's a very eclectic art show, lots of fun little gift ideas all mm -hmm. over the walls. And they were all created by either one of our staff members or one of the artists that we've had this last year. Nice. Yeah, you know, one of the things is that you, it brings up, because this year you have used chewing gum fridge magnets, yes. uh, dead fish art. Yes. Um, somebody on your staff might need help <laughs> mentally. Just throwing that out there. I mean, you just you just got to chaos laughter through the moment, right? Oh. That's what it's all about. <laughs> so this is all Dulcie's doing. <laughs> the chewing gum is her amazing daughter. The dead nice. fish is her. 
And then we have uh, Bailey, who had an art show here a few months ago. Mm -hmm. She's got a display up there. And then we've got Rhea. She did some, uh, I believe cross stitch would be the right terminology. Um, some ornaments, super fun. There's like one with a guillotine, one with Krampus, and they're, they're rad. <laughs> um, we've got Heather's uh, book that she wrote, which is fabulous. And all of these folks that d helped with this art show are donating um, a portion of the sales to the fundraiser. Wow. Yeah. So even in, <laughs> let's just go ahead and call it the worst year ever. Uh, <laughs> you guys have like went above and beyond what you did last year. That's a lot more. You know, I have to give huge props to uh, Dulce and the Wailuku team. They really came together and made this happen. Mm -hmm. um, and Jackie as well. I can't take, I take zero credit for it, like zero. Um, except for, the, you know, that I kept this place alive through the year. But they did everything else. Uh, and they continue to do everything else. And I love them so much. My team is amazing. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I uh, know. It's nothing to do with me. They do. They they make it happen. They, they bring the magic. Mm. Well, I mean, the thing is, is like you can bring magic, get a free coffee, either locations. Now, mm -hmm. last year, Haiku was too new to do this. But this year, you know, we settled in. Yeah. We, we, the, 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 the paint has lost its new smell. <laughs> yes. You know, it's it's a, it's a now a, a thing, officially. Yeah. Are we going to do the competition between the two stores and see which one raises the most? Um, well, I, it's, we, well, maybe next year. Maybe next year. Because we don't have the same op hours of operation currently. Oh, that's because right. Because of COVID. COVID. So, Thank you, COVID. You know, Haiku's open from 7 to 2, 7 days a week. And here we're open 7 to 5 except Sunday 7 to 2. Nice. So, um, but I feel like it's starting to pick up and so far the winter spikes haven't happened here. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna feel it out through the holidays and maybe in January we'll be changing our hours again in Haiku. I don't know, we'll have to, we'll, have to, we'll touch back on that. Wow. But I don't think it'd be fair to have a competition if they don't have the equal opportunity to, to receive. Yeah. Um, I like fairness. You like I'm fairness? I'm a Libra. Oh, I know. I'm a Pisces. I'm, I'm more about. like throw them in the arena, see who comes out alive. <laughs> Chuck a lion in there. Let's have some fun with it. You know? Sink or swim. <laughs> right? But I, you know, everybody over the holidays always competes for like Christmas cheer and things like that. And this year, everybody is just feeling, I'm going to use the word depleted. Yeah. So it's always good like that you guys consistently, and even this year, consistently you're trying to do something to give back because I'm just going to say it, Megan, we need the warm and fuzzies. We need the warm and fuzzies and we can't, you know, I can't just give away hugs for free all day long anymore, mm -hmm. but we can still come together and we can give away aloha all day long, right? Yeah. You know, and so much uh, kindness can go so far. Just the smallest, smallest act of kindness. It doesn't have to be some grand gesture, some giant expensive present. Just choosing kindness as your daily motive mm -hmm. is going to make this whole community and world just so much nicer to be in. Did not realize the coffee cast was going to turn into deep thoughts with Megan Kanikoa, but well, here I've we been are. Traveling, so <laughs> I've had a lot of time to think. I mean, not traveling for fun, I'll tell you that much. But, right. Um, you write any of those wartime letters back to your, my dearest husband. My dearest darling. <laughs> it has been several days on the road in the quarantine, you know? Yes. Let's just say Ohana means family. Oh, yeah. And family means hmm. no one's left behind. All right. <laughs> and the cool thing is, is, I mean, you guys treat Wailuku, you treat Maui like family. And I encourage everybody, you know, it's just a small gift, just a small gift. Everybody has sales right now, okay? I've checked the apps. Yes. <laughs> I've, checked, I've checked the sale yes. file. Everybody has a sale, so they have no excuse. New unwrapped gift, something nice, drop it in a box, get some free coffee. Yeah. But the most important thing that they leave with is, well, the thing they leave with 365 days a year from the Wailuku Coffee Company. Good feeling in your heart. That's what we strive for. Yeah. <laughs> but. Um, you know, acts of service is a really great way to boost your own mental health. Hi. You know, if you're feeling down in the dumps, you're feeling sad, getting out there and doing something for someone else or joining um, some sort of nonprofit or volunteering somewhere, it will really kind of help lift your spirits. It automatically creates a release of dopamine and oxytocin, the happy hormones. Wow. So I, I recommend it. 
Okay. So we went from deep thoughts to the medical understanding. Um, <laughs> is there anything you don't do at this time of year? I mean, you're keeping the place afloat. You've got two different toy collections. You've got charities going on, art shows from everybody. Cure for cancer? Uh, I don't have that yet, although I could maybe suggest a certain medicinal plant that they need to legalize already. But anyways, um, what, I'm, what I really want to get across yeah. right now is... Share the aloha, share the kindness, share the love. It goes so far, especially this holiday season. And if you have a little extra to spare, go ahead and bring in a toy and uh, spend the money on the toy instead of the coffee and we'll get your coffee for you for free. Yeah. So, oh, are you little... gonna do it next week? Probably, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know me, I love buying toys. <laughs> but as long as we're talking about sharing, make sure that you like and subscribe and share this video. Yeah. And tell your friends that when they come to Maui, because a lot of people are starting to come back, I've seen the flight prices. This needs to be one of your stops. Just throwing that out there. We're 20 minutes from the airport. Pretty much either way you go. Yeah, yeah. So. And it's worth it. Yeah. Oh, and plus, I forgot to mention, on the website, wailukucoffeeco.com, you can get somebody a bag of coffee, mm -hmm. have it shipped to them. And, and you guys have, like, accessories and T-shirts. and yeah. yeah. So, you know got some stuff on the website. Check it out, wailukucoffeeco.com. Yep, and until next time, uh, her name's Megan Connie Koa, and she has really deep thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaggy. Talk to you next time. We'll see you at the coffee cast then. Bye. Bye-bye.